We've all done plenty of climbing on our road bikes. Many of you have probably done quite a bit of climbing on your mountain bikes, but today I'm gonna go through some tips and tricks to be able to ride uphill on gravel like a boss. Riding uphill on gravel isn't all that different from road riding, but anytime you've got the ground moving underneath your tires, there's some nuances to it. And today I'm gonna hook you up with some tips that I have picked up along the way. So on this rig, I'm running a 40 tooth up front and a 3211 on the rear. Now with SRAM and Shimano both coming out with gravel specific group sets, the options are endless for what you could use for gravel riding now. Having a clutch on your rear derailleur is a really valuable tool to have at your disposal. While a clutch isn't essential, it does keep the tension on the chain, which will keep it from coming off the front rig over bumps and breaks in the road and are gonna keep you riding without having to stop and put your chain back on. So keeping with the theme of equipment and how to climb gravel, biggest thing is that you gotta be prepared for what you're coming into. As you can tell, I'm in a massive gear right now. So I need to put out a ton of power and then let way off, shift up through the cassette because during gravel, it can be muddy, grit, sand, all types of terrible conditions. And there's nothing that spells a recipe for disaster than shifting under pressure, even on your road bike. But on a gravel bike, it is a surefire way to have a mechanical. So now we're gonna talk about the technique or the finesse of being able to ride gravel uphill. Riding with your weight back when you're climbing up gravel probably sounds like a no-brainer, especially when you consider all the loose rocks and stuff that are underneath your tires. So you really have to make sure that you've got your weight back. And then, well, if you think of the alternative and you're climbing like some big tour stage and you're throwing your bike all over the place and the tire's wheeling out, that is not very efficient. You need to be in the saddle, in a good gear, nice and smooth, putting out a consistent amount of power to the pedals, which is going right to the rear wheel and has a nice consistent contact patch with the ground. Okay, so I know what you guys are thinking. So, oh yeah, JP, that's great. You're riding on all those nicely manicured dirt roads, but what if you get into some really technical stuff like this? Well, all the same stuff applies. You've got to keep your weight back. You've got to make sure that you pick your head up and you've got to anticipate because momentum is the key to being able to ride really steep off-road stuff. Picking your head up. Ah! So one thing that you might not think a lot about when you're climbing gravel is overheating. And I can't tell you the amount of times that I've actually burned up when I've been out riding gravel on a super long 20 minute climb because while there's no airflow out here and sometimes the sun is just beating on your back, the combination of those two makes me say like, I gotta get my jersey open, flapping in the breeze. And if there's any rivers or lakes that I can jump in, and bring my core body temperature way down, I'm doing that. And I guess if you have enough water, spraying water kind of all over your back and bringing that core temp down is good advice. All right, so I'm not being totally serious. Like you don't have to be meditative and zen and doing crazy stuff on the side of the trail, but you should be really positive because sometimes these climbs can be really long, hot, arduous, and these rides are adventures. You're out in the middle of nowhere often for hours, sometimes by yourself. So, you know, I try to kind of channel my inner mentality to be really positive, think forward, think about something that you're looking forward to, whether that's like a good meal at the end of the ride or hanging out with friends when you're finished. But if you map everything back towards I'm having fun and I'm out here to enjoy myself, it's gonna make your day riding gravel and climbing gravel a heck of a lot better. A lot of times when we're riding gravel, we come into what we call stutter bumps or braking bumps, which can be quite undulating. Now, these gravel bikes are able to hold up to 50C tires, so high volume tires that can really absorb a lot of what I'm riding over right now, these huge bumps and everything. So, my advice here is get some really big tires, run them at decently low pressure, and I guess you have two options when you hit them. You either go slowly, and then you just kind of use your rhythm and glide through them while you're climbing with your weight back. If you're gonna hit them full speed, you better be really confident because if you get it wrong, 
they will definitely throw you. Tying this all together, we need to make sure that we get our weight back. We don't want to be climbing like we're some big Tour de France star out of the saddle in the front of the bike. No, this is gravel. We need to be planted and we need to be firm. You need to make sure that you got your gears right. You want to make sure that you got high volume tires, especially if you're going to be hitting the stutter bumps. We need to stay positive and zen. We can't let our body temperature rise and get too hot and blow up on the climbs because you're going to be out in the middle of nowhere. And I think that's just about everything that I went over to be a gravel rock star. So if you liked this video and you think it was cool, give it a thumbs up. If you want more awesome gravel videos, check out over here. And if you love GCN and you want to subscribe, click right in the center.